All right, guys, so the 2014 Porsche is inside, and man, it looks good. Yeah, a lot of damage going on, but wow, this lime green body wrap, obviously it's a wrap. You can see the Becker wraps on there. Looks great, definitely made it pop and made us want to buy it. It's an eye catcher from right away, so hopefully it's not too bad, but now we got it inside, we can lift it up, go underneath, go around, see what we got, what we got ourselves into, what kind of parts we have, what we need to order to get this thing back in the road. Let's go ahead and check it out. I know what you guys are thinking. A Porsche? Yes, a Porsche, another Porsche. Why not? We've done some before, so this one's a little newer, and hopefully we'll just get newer and newer and better and better. It's a new year, let's get it. Okay, so we obviously need ourselves an AC condenser. Been out of shape, but surprisingly I've seen some hit that hard and still hold compression. Basically AC Freon and stuff inside, so we'll definitely try to put the machine on there and see if there's something in there before we take that apart. But it looks like our radiator's busted, AC condenser, some wiring going on, front bumper. Hopefully our little computers are okay, a little casing's bad, but that's an Audi. You gotta watch out for that kind of stuff. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> See what's going on. Oh, memories from the Audi, parts everywhere. Knee assembly, we'll get that rim off, see how the damage is underneath. Check out that rim, how it just broke off like that. That's crazy. Sheared off. I guess the aluminum didn't really bend that well and just came right apart, but everything else looks to be intact, which is pretty cool. Definitely wanna see what kind of parts we have inside. Look at that door. Opens and closes nicely. We've got some fuses or some going on right there. Maybe they got some aftermarket stuff that they pulled off, so we'll have to check that out. But there's some moldings, that's nice. It looks like no airbags deployed. Oh, we got one. So we got the seat airbag over there, so we'll have to get that seat belt off, find the module, take that apart, send that out. A little bit of body work for Ivan. It's definitely got the cooler tail lights, so that's nice. There's the wing, front bumper piece. Rear bumper, rear bumper support. See how much that got damaged over there. Take all that apart. And then this is the main damage side. But the door still opens, it's nice. So we have our headlight down there, that's good. That actually saves a lot. Because surprisingly those things are super expensive. Now it looks like the tail light. A piece of the tail light, oh boy. I hope we have something for that other headlight because look, computers are really expensive. Sometimes to get the whole tail headlights like thousands of dollars. We'll do what we can, but we'll make it, make it work. Definitely a lot going on over here, but let's go ahead and raise it up and see what it is underneath. So surprisingly, this side doesn't look too bad. Honestly, a lot of the plastic moldings and shielding looks okay. Got a little wire unplugged, but not too bad. Break that shield, a little bent. So underneath, this thing is completely covered, which is pretty cool. So for aerodynamics and dirt and rocks and chips, definitely have to take some of the paneling off to see if anything got underneath, but that's looking good so far. So pretty surprisingly for only two wheels, not that much damage. So hopefully it got wrecked and then they parked it. It wasn't kept rolling or anything like that, not dragging around, but pretty sweet. Now I'm happy. Hopefully no hidden damage once to take the panels off. Going to the engine side, pretty cool. A little bent right there, looks like. Oh boy. So we got some rear damage too, either the forklift when they picked it up, but that bottom bar does look bent. See that right there? So it's kind of the subframe. Oh boy, so we do have some hidden damage. See that right there, pinched. Exhaust as well, got some damage. Gotta find it now. Wow, look at that well job, guys. We did not do that, that's pretty crazy. I guess it already has an aftermarket exhaust, cause that is not stock. Wow, <laughs> pretty bad I would say, but I don't know, we'll have to see. Definitely still want to start it, see what this thing sounds like. Hopefully everything's good there because it wasn't a run and dry or anything like that. Let's see if we get this wheel off and let's see what's behind door number one or two. I think it's being held by that shock, which is pretty crazy. But look at that, guys. Fixed it. It looks better already. Just kidding. 
kidding, just kidding. Surprised this tire didn't look that bad. Look at this tire, it looks like it's all blown up. That's crazy. The wheels are really breaking in the spokes and that tire didn't even break bead. Wow. Okay, so we need ourselves a little ABS sensor. Like broke all in there, so we need a spindle for sure. Um, brake caliper looks okay. Rotor, have to check that out too. Lower control arm, side control arm, outer tie rod, inner tie rod end. A bunch of goodies. We'll get it. All right, guys, we kind of see what's going on. Like I said, spindle definitely, control arms, tie rod end. This radiator looks busted. You can see a hole right there. Fan looks okay, that's good. AC condenser, definitely gonna buy a new one. Fog lights over there, a little shroud. But unfortunately, it looks like this side got damaged as well. If you could tell right there, that radiator's cracked as well. So, got damage all around. So we'll take some of these things off, dig into it a little more, see if that fan's okay. This side looks nice, but we need a new radiator, left side and right side. I'm gonna check out this AC condenser, see if that's okay. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. But the suspension looks pretty nice on this side. At least we have one example to know what to do, how to make it, so that's pretty cool. One good side. And we'll take off this headlight, see what's going on underneath there. Definitely need two headlights for sure. Not bad, we've seen worse. So we obviously can't start it because it has no keys. Kind of forgot about that, but we reached out to the owner and the previous owner, we were able to find out who he was. And we said, hey, you wanna have to have the keys? And he said he does, and he's gonna ship it to us. So hopefully that'll work out nicely. We'll see if we get the keys for it. For now we can't start it, but I still can work on that side over there to get that seatbelt out and find the module so we can get that sent out to get reset. Hey, it might as well. We'll go to Safety Restore. That's our go-to guys for seatbelts and airbag modules. So the original color of the car right here is like a gunmetal silver gray color. So this lime green flat color looks really cool. I like it, definitely pops. Ah, let's check it out. So most likely this seatbelt's locked up and it is, which makes sense. This is the tail light, like I thought for the back. It's still good. Just kidding, guys. You can't use that. Definitely need a new one over there. This looks like the rear bumper piece or the front bumper. Don't really know. This will be for the fuse box over there. There's a the little switch that they had, maybe subwoofer or something like that, which is fine. Carbon fiber trim. Pretty cool. All right guys, so moving into it. Um, I don't really know what this airbag is. It's just kind of scary. Because why the, why would we have a, another blown airbag when we still have this one right here? So that's the one I know about. I just can't put the scan tool on. Cause I don't have the keys to see what else is going on. Dang. Definitely try to pop the trunk if we can, put power to it. Or the hood, whatever you want to call it. But man, this interior is really nice. Definitely took a good job carrying it. Very clean. Cup holder. Sweet. All right, guys, so I just put power to it. I don't have the key right now, but I am gonna try to get that rear hatch open. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully it'll work. Yes, nice. No key, but still popping up. Ooh, what do you think, Ivan? You know, there's no parts inside. Yeah, so no parts inside, but little caps. 
It's kind of cool to see the engine, but I guess you got to take it all apart to actually get in there. Pretty crazy. There's fuses. Oh boy. A lot going on. Like I said, we have power, so that's pretty cool. It's got 100,000 miles on it. Which is a good bit. I mean, this guy drove it. Why not? It's a nice car. I would drive it too. I think that's pretty crazy about the hidden damage underneath right there. Did not see that coming. I mean, the wheels looked fine, but then just all the creases. And then if you keep looking right there, that's supposed to be connected. So the engine cradle, aluminum frame for it is actually cracked as well. This side. Dang. So that's all gonna be replaced as well. Definitely added to my parts list of things to buy. It's gonna take some time, but hopefully just bolt it off, support it and replace it and bolt it back together. I'm doing alignment on it. What I really am worried about is the engine itself. Make sure this thing runs. Hopefully it'll start and no issues there. So I'm definitely nervous about the engine. I mean, we got $10,000 in it, basically 10 something brought it home but we still need all the rims, all the body work, front end parts, underneath, subframe. A lot of things are adding up and parts aren't cheap for this, for sure. Headlight alone is like $1,000, so that's gonna be fun to get that going. But I really hope it starts and it sounds good. That would be amazing and still be worth it at the end. If not, then we have we got ourselves a hole then we have to get out of, but you know, it is what it is. It's kind of a gamble. You never know what you're gonna pick up with an insurance auction. Sometimes a steal deal and sometimes you got a lot of work to do. Hopefully it runs good. So definitely got a lot of parts to order, but I have a good idea, a good feeling of what's going on. I'm probably not gonna take out the SRS module and seatbelt for now, because I wanna start it first, scan it, see what else is going on, because that other airbag's kind of throwing me off, so I'm a little worried before digging into it over there, taking it all apart, making more issues. Be nice, it's all together right now. We'll just leave it alone that way. Hopefully get the keys and be able to start it first, and see what happens. Looking into this side, I think that's just the rotor itself that's snapped off. Hopefully the spindle's fine, but might just get another one, we'll see. This door over there, man, lots and lots of stuff going on over here. So definitely got a lot of parts to order for this thing. Like I said, hopefully it starts, hopefully it runs. That will be the game changer if it's still a good deal or a bad deal. But leave some comments down below what you guys think. Is this thing worth it? I mean, they still sell for $35,000. We got 10 in it, plus or minus right now. So hopefully if that engine runs, I think we'll be happy and you know we'll make it all work. But we'll get those parts on order. Hopefully they'll come in soon and we'll get this thing back in the road before we know it. But thanks for watching guys, that's all the time for this episode. Leave some comments down below, make sure you're subscribed, and we'll catch you next time.